Right. Um, all right. Well, hey, we're going to treat this as if we're live. Amber, uh, I'm excited to do this. Uh, by the way, everyone, I, you know, we've been off for a few months of doing these How I Shot It's, and I am so excited to be back and doing it because not only have you guys always been requesting these, but today I actually get to chat with one of the most like popular, most inspiring artists in the Magma community lately is Amber Henry. So Amber, thank you so much for being here with me. Thanks. Thanks. I'm excited. This is fun. Yeah. It'll be a ton of fun. I actually, and Amber, I'm going to have you uh, introduce yourself and tell everyone where you're from and everything. But before we do that, uh, I'm just going to quickly check the MagMod page and just make sure it is live. And then I'm going to share it over into the MagMod community as well. So if there's anywhere that you wanted to share it, Amber, I'm going to give you just a second uh, to do that. I'm going to just share this. Yep, we are definitely live. And... So everyone, give me just a second. I'm just going to throw this in the Magmon community. By the way, if you are not yet in the Magmon community, you've got to join us. Just search Magmon community on Facebook. There's like 69,000 photographers in there. And one of the coolest things I love about the Magmon community is um, when you post a photo, you got to post in the caption how you created it. So you got to share kind of the, um, you know, what Magmon modifiers you use. So it's like the most educational community out there which is awesome. And Amber is absolutely killing it in there, meaning that everybody just loves her posts. And Amber, I got to say, the reason that people love your posts is because you're always sharing this. Well, not it's one, it's your photos are incredible, but two, you're always sharing this fantastic, like BTS photos and videos and all that kind of stuff, which I just love. Yeah. You know, for a long time, I did not share uh, behind the scenes purposefully uh, like throughout my career because I was always in these like bad places and so <laughs> I was I was nervous to to kind of show where we are but I think now it just you know these are just standard places where you're going to have weddings you're going to have clients and I I think it's really helpful to show like what you can make you know out of lemons if that makes sense yeah I, I love that so in other words you're saying when you say bad places you mean like you're shooting like in alleyways or bad lighting in churches or very yeah you know, dark churches um yeah. basements um you know rain you know the middle of the woods at night like all kinds of um all kinds of different situations that you know you definitely need to you definitely need to know light in order to make it work and then once yeah. you get it there's there's endless possibilities to what you can create I love that. You know, and what's cool is for those tuning in, we're going to show you some of those kind of behind the scenes videos and uh, photos and things like that. So you can actually see what Amber is taking this, like she said, lemon and turning into something actually phenomenal. I would say some amazing lemon juice is what I'd probably say. <laughs> Lemonade, I think it's what they call it. <laughs> so Amber, hey, before we jump into the photos though, and we have quite a few that I can't wait to share with everybody. But before we do that, can you tell everyone how they can find you? Uh, your website, your Instagram, and in fact, even your really popular TikTok that you just started and has been taking off. So, yeah, um, I'm super easy to find. Everything is Amber Henry Photography. It's long, but it's really easy to find me anywhere. So, I think on TikTok, I'm Amber underscore Henry underscore Photography. But everywhere else on Instagram and my website and Facebook is all Amber Henry Photography. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. And so, like I said, guys, when we uh, share some of these images in the, in the BTS, the behind the scenes, uh, we'll even share some of these TikTok videos so you can actually see. And what's so great about TikTok is you basically are condensing it down into like literally seconds, anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds or so of just showing people like, hey, this is the scene. This is my setup. And this is what I've done to create this amazing image. So, um, yeah, it's got to be it's got to be quick. It's got to be attention grabbing. Um, show where the lights are, show the person is, show where you were and then show what you can create after. Um, it's it's a really good platform. I I you know wasn't on it up until I'm mean, just a couple months ago I got on it um, and started creating. But yeah, it's a fantastic um, opportunity to even to to reach a younger audience if that's what you're going for seniors. If you're doing high school seniors, yeah, it's a blast. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. You know, actually, that would be a great segue into our first image. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my share screen and let's bring up this uh, image. Let's see. I'm gonna hit Finder. We got this image here. Uh, can you see that there, Amber? Yep. Awesome. So, yeah, oh, you know what? You can probably see my whole desktop too, can't you? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. But I'm going to actually share it so it's a little bit more appealing so we don't see the whole desktop. Let's go this way. There we go. How about that? There you go. Yep. Awesome. So, um, Amber, I, you mentioned seniors. Do you do a lot of seniors then? 
I do. Yeah, I would say um, I do. Um, the majority is weddings and then seniors and then uh, just portrait shoots after that. Awesome. So, so in this image, then, it, I mean, you have this really cool uh, lighting and obviously it looks like you have a light on her, but you have gels going on. I mean, tell us for some, somebody, I'm, I'm sure people have seen images kind of like this before right. with that yeah. multicolor, but I think it's one of those puzzles where people are like, how in the world was that accomplished? So tell us about this setup and then I can't wait to show everyone a BTS and even a video. So. Yeah, so this was actually taken in my studio, and um, this beautiful girl's name is Brie. I've met her, gosh, I think she was six years old when I met her. Um, so now that we're doing her senior pictures, I feel very old, but also like I'm super happy because <laughs> she is a remarkable girl. Um, she's into lots of sports, and I really wanted to give her something edgy, fun, contemporary, um, you know, not just your standard, this is me holding you know, my, my sports equipment. So um, I did this on a white vinyl backdrop on my wall. Mm -hmm. And um, it did take me a little bit because this was my first time doing it to figure out the light placement. But what I realized is if the lights are um, the same height in the same space across, that was giving me the shadows that I liked. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just the light placement. And you can obviously see from where the shadows are falling where the lights were. And we did have a fan on her to blow back that beautiful red hair to make it look like she was in motion. And of course, the volleyball that she happened to bring in that day was just perfection with the colors we chose. So, mm. and this is her mom helping me out because I ran out of stands. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fantastic. So, so basically, you have all three of those lights. Now they all have a different color gel on them. Yep. And now when those lights combined, is that what made the white light on her or did you have an additional? Light? Um, so, yeah, so you could do that, but I did choose to use a fourth light with white because I really wanted it to be white, white. Gotcha. Um, so my, which I would call the main light. Um, I just uh, made it a little bit higher power than the other ones to kind of blow out the lights. And you can see like, this was just me stepping back, uh, taking a shot, how, you know, beautiful the white is on her. And if you look at uh, on her arms, you can even notice where like her hair shadow or the, the body shadow is hitting the arms. You still get those really cool uh, colors kind of coming out. Yeah. It almost looks like it's part of the, the, the uniform, right? Like it's right, so cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. But yeah, I did choose to use a fourth light with the white um, just to give it that extra kick. Excellent. Now you put on here white vinyl. Does it have to be done on a white vinyl? No. Um, in fact, I don't really use that white vinyl that much. You can use anything. Um, I, I would prefer a white backdrop because I think the white versus the color is really going to give you that punch. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I have done this, um, <laughs> oddly enough, in an alleyway. Um, yeah. Yep. So that is um, the wall of a Barnes and Noble <laughs> outside. You, you know, and I can't wait to show people this BTS. In fact, do you mind if I just share this right now? Yeah, yeah, go for it. So, so what we're going to see, guys, is basically a video. It shows where she actually shot this. Now, this is your son. Is that correct? Yep. This is Xander, and he's 14 going on 19. Um, he grew, <laughs> like, I think two foot in a year. Um, but he's a perfect model because all you have to do is, you know, feed him afterwards, and he's happy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so so basically, in this, you took the same technique you did uh, with Bree, and you, you went out into an alleyway. You said it was a, the side of a Barnes & Noble. Yep. and so I'll show you guys the video. You're going to see trash cans and things. And I guess this might be going along with what you were saying earlier, where it's like you don't want to show people these bad locations. But in reality, right. it's, it's showing people how you can take something and make it into something phenomenal. So yeah, um, I believe the next one, here we go. So cool. Amber, those are so awesome. Yeah. It's so, so, so you know, 
your son had to be super stoked when he saw these images. He was. He wasn't stoked doing them because um, <laughs> I made him jump about 50 times. But yeah, after they saw them, they saw them, he, uh, you know, his self-esteem jumped just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. These are these are those images where you, it's like defining images as a teenager. You go back and you're like, look how cool I looked. Right, uh, you know, and that's, you know, not not to be pushy with the Magmod, but I mean, this is why I love Magmod. It's so easy. It's so portable. It's so fast. Mm -hmm. You know, I have I have two camera bags that we take with me on a wedding and one is my my lenses and gear and the other one is all the Magmod and it's it's quick. That's awesome. No, I love it. Hey, you can be pushy with Magma all you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will because it's it's incredible. Yeah, it's great. No, that's that's phenomenal. Uh, so so really, again, going back to the technique on this, you use the same technique, which you basically had three flashes with gels, and they were all same level, just yep. to the side of each other, and then you use the mag box as your main light on him. Is that right? Yep, that's it. And then um, you know the other thing that you just have to watch where they're um you know leaning against the background or leaning up so here he's got his butt against the the wall but he's leaning forward so you know play with the depths of the the shadows because of course the more that he moves forward the smaller the shadows get yeah. um and just find you know find different poses and things that work but um man yeah. like for a senior this is this is a kill this is a standout image this is gonna separate you from you know people who don't quite know lighting yet so yeah. you know definitely up your game and get some mag mod and you know i love that uh, yeah absolutely and that's that's super good advice because you do want to find things that really differentiate yourself and I'll, I'll just point out to everybody as well as you can create this even if you just have three flashes or even two well three flashes because oh, yeah. you want rgb so you basically even if you would combine red green and blue you can actually have all three of those hitting your subject that would create the white light additive yep. and then you basically have the shadows being colored too which is really cool a couple more images um here of your son I'll just show everyone so they can see different options here. Um, all of them, super cool. I love that jumping one too. That looks like a like a poster you'd have in your room. <laughs> oh man, that was so hard because <laughs> he's in jeans. Poor kid, but <laughs> yeah, awesome. and that definitely was one of my favorites for sure. That's so cool. So Amber, this is another image that you posted in the community. I don't know, maybe a week, week and a half ago. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we shared it on Instagram as well, and it blew up over there. And, and, I, and I think the reason people love this image, again, not, it's a phenomenal image. I mean, the lighting and everything. But, but I want to show the BTS even before we talk about it, because here's, here's what the room looked like. And all of us have been in rooms like this, where the lighting just looks very unexciting. Um, yeah. You know, you got a window, there's, there's not like everything is the same lighting. It doesn't, nothing really jumps out and says, oh, this is where I'm going to put my people. But yet you took that and you turned it into this incredible image. So tell us kind of what was going through your mind when you set this up and then, and of course, how you did it. Yeah. So um, this wedding is at um, a local church and it's a beautiful church, but it's, it's older. And of course the yellow lighting, um, we were actually walking in to start the ceremony and I, we, you have to walk past this little alcove to get to the, um, the upstairs. And I noticed it right away. I was like, look at, it's very cool that you can see two different locations from one spot. Mm -hmm. um, so I instantly, I immediately know what I wanted to create. And we waited till after the ceremony and after family formals. And really they just wanted to get on the bus and go party because you know, who doesn't want to, your friends are waiting. And I was like, just want, like, let me create this one um, spectacular image for you. And it turned out so beautiful. It's absolutely exactly how I saw it in my head. Um, yeah, it was, it was really great. So it's two lights. That's mm -hmm. all, um, that's all this is. Um, I got one on him with a grid, which is actually sitting on a, on a bookshelf. Um, and then my assistant is upstairs with one with a sphere uh, to kind of soften her light a little bit over her head. Love it. So, and we actually have a, a BTS on this one as well. Um, here's a video so you can kind of see where that one is above um, lighting her up. And, it, and it's also kind of adding light to that little area, right? Um, oh yeah, yeah. And you know, um, something fun to do if, if, you know, you had the forethought is to think about, um, you know, masculine and feminine kind of colors. Um, so I purposely kept him in, um, I don't say darker, but the way that his uh, jacket reflected on the door, which was still blue, I didn't edit that out because it's, it's, it's blue tones. It's, it's cooler. It's a little bit, whereas her light is very warm and white, which, you know, you may consider to be feminine. And so you have that feeling as well you know, the, yeah. the feminine and masculine side of, of the image. I love that. 
that's, a, that's such a great point. Thank you for sharing that, Amber. You know what I love about this too is um, oftentimes as photographers is, you know, something that really sets one photographer apart from another is when they can kind of pre-visualize the scene and knowing that, hey, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to create this. I'm going to make it a little bit darker because you had this incredible stained glass window behind them. But there's no way that stained glass window was going to be seen unless you dropped your exposure way down. I mean, if you look at the BTS on it, it doesn't look nearly as exciting right there. But when you drop your exposure down, you create this kind of really cool background. Um, but of course, dropping the exposure then is going to require flash. And I mean, so you just, I love this image. You did such yeah, a great job. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the, it would be blown out if you didn't use flash, which of course you could shoot that way as, as well. Um, but it's completely two different looks. So you could do it that way and then get this way. But I will tell you nine times out of 10, uh, this is the, the work that my clients come to me for because this is the work I show. You know, you have to show yeah. what you want to sell. Um, so had I not kind of encourage them to take five minutes, let's go do this picture really quick. Um, they wouldn't get the images, uh, which are the images I, I feel like they hired me for. So, you know, my job is to be creative, you know, maybe put them in an uncomfortable situation for a second, but in the end you have this lifetime of, of beautiful images, uh, yeah. which are, you know, family heirloom right there. Absolutely. So, so true. Hey, Amber, before we um, jump into the next image, there was one question on the image of your son, and I believe it was this first one right here. Um, Dan is asking this strip, the blue strip. I, I imagine that was probably just done in Photoshop or, or something yeah. like that. Is so that, that right? That I didn't post. Um, so this one, um, what I did was I, I dialed down the, the fourth light, the main light with the, um, with the white, you know, just uh -huh. the regular light, um, dialed it down. So the wall actually had color on it. So mm -hmm. in Photoshop, I just kind of thought, oh, this might be cool because I like the, the leading lines of his elbow and his hands and his knees kind of coming yeah. diagonal through the frame. Um, so I cut the, the line and then I just whitened the wall a little bit more. Um, yeah. So yeah, but if you do take off the, the fourth light or the main light um, with the white, you will get a little bit of color spill, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because in here I just enhanced it and it still looks very cool. It does, it looks really cool, excellent. So hopefully that that uh, answered uh, Dan's questions. You got uh, a number of people watching, and uh, Adam Lyon saying great work, and uh, Ma Eugenia saying wow, I love it, and got a few people tagging friends. So oh, um, thank you for for doing this. Awesome. Uh, let's jump into uh, this other image. So I'm going to kind of uh, Amber, you sent me this incredible gallery of photos, and that's actually one of the things I love about my job in doing these videos is people will send me a bunch of photos and they say you know which ones and it's like I, I, it's like picking your favorite child honestly there's so many great shots it's so hard to pick yeah it is yeah. no but i i wanted to i kind of wanted to bounce back and forth because i feel like in the magma community there is a lot of wedding images and i thought it'd be a great opportunity to kind of show you know some wedding images plus some senior photos um and and so this one came to mind and i, and I just thought you know, oftentimes we look at, you know, work of other photographers and we think, man, that, that seems too difficult. I don't have time to set that up or whatever. And, and I love how you were practicing, like, like for that one with your son, for example. But this one, it's such a simple yet dynamic, like simple setup, but such a dynamic photo. So, so tell, us, tell us about this one and, and then we'll show the BTS. Yeah, so this was, um, we did a, uh, what I call a luck session. Um, which we do three hours. So we start in the studio, we do some traditional. Um, so all my clients do get their traditional photos. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Chuck is here um, making <laughs> <non -fronts. laughs> Um They do the traditional photos, but then we go out and we play. And of course, um, if my seniors have something special to them, like they um, are in sports or they love books or they love movies or they collect things, you know, we, we want to uh, incorporate that into their images so that they can look back and say, this was my personality. It's not just me in a studio on a nice background, this is who I was. This is super easy. This is probably one of the easiest shots we took all night. It's a two light setup. Uh, we have the one behind him with the yellow gel and I wanted to match, you know, of course his colors are, are blue and yellow plus the sunset. Um, so it worked out well. So we have the yellow behind him. Um, and then we have the mag box, which I edited out, which is creating the main light on him. And I purposely put it sideways because I wanted the shadows to fall on his muscles mm -hmm. to show the definition. He is a runner. He's a foot, you know, football player. He's, he's in track. He does all these things. So the side light will also create the shadows to show the, the muscle definition. So that is out of camera right there. Gotcha. And, and the, and the gel on the back, the yellow gel, uh, the flash with that, it, it kind of, like you said, it kind of mimics the sun, mm -hmm. um, as if it were setting back there. 
But also, how far back do you have that? Is that about eight feet, 10 feet? Yeah, it's about eight feet. Um, and what we'll do is my assistant will go and she'll put it down and then we'll take a test shot and see if we like where the shadows are falling. And if not, we'll move them back. But we've almost got down to a science where she's worked with me for so long that she knows exactly where <laughs> to put it almost on the first try. But yeah, I would say six to eight feet is always the best starting point and then kind of work work from there. And then Amber, I noticed you have two flashes in the mag box. And so I, I imagine one of the questions that might come up from people is, do you need two flashes or was there a purpose that you put two in there? Um, no, we actually didn't use two flashes for this one. It was probably in there from um, another picture that we had taken, but this one was just one. Um, but I do love, love that I can have two in there. So if I need more light, I can just turn it on from my, my trigger and I don't have to you know, mess with the light or bring another box in, but now I can just do add two. Um, but yeah. yeah, for this particular shot, we only had one going off. Very, very cool. So I'm just gonna show the shot one more time so everybody can see it there. And then what's cool is you basically took the same setup and the same shot and you and you just, I mean, kind of move things around a little bit. It looks like you still have yellow gels and you still use the mag box here. Tell us about this shot as well. Yep, so um, the one thing that I love to do with seniors is to, um, make it seem like like a stadium, like as if they were under the hot lights on the day of, of uh, you know, the, the track meet or whatever was going on. Um, so I purposely leave the, the, the gels and the lights in the photo. I want them to look, you know, or resemble some kind of like stadium lights. Um, yeah, so this one was tricky because of course he had to actually be jumping. So we did this one probably 10 times, poor kid. <laughs> we have the, um, and I believe this might have been the one that we used two lights for in the mag box, which is off to the right, um, because it was getting dark. Like we were losing, we were losing the sun at that point. I think I had to use my modeling bulb to light him for the camera to focus is how dark mm. it was getting. Yeah. Um, we had the two lights behind him. And then I actually have dad and dad would start at the, um, at the hurdle. He would spray the, the atmosphere aerosol across and then he would jump. Nice. So, yeah, but of course it's worth it in the end because this is a senior portrait that he's going to have forever and it tells the story of his life at this point. Yeah. And Amber, you, you mentioned a few times that you had you got the parents involved, like the mom holding yeah. the flash and the dad running with the atmosphere aerosol. Is that something that's kind of common? Do you tend, tend to get the parents involved in doing that kind of stuff? You know, I find more and more, um, the more seniors I do, the more parents come, but they like they don't come to like sit there to like they they watch like they want to be involved they take behind the scenes on their phone they share it um so sometimes when i say hey dad can i help you oh sh like they run like they love it yeah so i i'm not afraid to ask ask them to do something because um when they get the pictures back they tend to like that image more because they feel like they were a part of creating it if Absolutely. that makes sense so yeah. yeah yeah my my senior their parents are awesome so Amber, I, I got to share a story, and this is a, a bit of a confession here. Um, oh. I've had uh, parents that, you know, the parents that, you know, the, the, like the son's trying to get like his tough football shot and he's trying to look serious or whatever. And the mom is like constantly like, you got to smile, smile. Come on. That's not the, that's not the smile I want. I want a bigger smile. I want it. And, and you're oh, yeah. like, come on, mom. Can you please step away? Like, don't worry about it. You know? um, I've had on occasion to just give a reflector to the parents. And just say, hey, mom, can you hold this reflector right here? And it, and, and and like if she pulls it down, I'll say, no, 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 I need it up kind of above. <laughs> and I'll have it just cover her face. And and I'll just be like, yep, that's perfect. And the light's not even like anywhere. It's just to cover her up, just to kind of like, keep her busy. Or the dad or whoever. But it's basically because it's like, okay, I need to work here, you know. And, and I love how you get the parents involved. And I, I love doing that as well. But man, there's sometimes, so if you have a parent that it just keeps bothering the kid and you can tell yep, it's like, give him a job. Crazy, just give them a reflector and tell them to hold it up and, <laughs> them and they'll keep them at least quiet for about 10 minutes. So, right, right. You know, and we always tell them like, you know, um, cause we get that a lot too, the smile. I'm like, well, this shot wouldn't look right with a smile. You, yeah. you're not going to buy it with a smile and they don't, they get it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, give them a job. That's awesome. That's Involve. awesome. Hey, so Amber, you had um, mentioned the atmosphere aerosol, which for those who aren't familiar with it, it's basically a can of like spray. It's a mineral oil and you spray it up in the air and it creates this really cool haze and kind of a smoke effect. I've seen this actually used in other photos that you've shot and particularly this one kind of comes to mind, uh, which again was a really popular one in the community. So tell us how you set this one up here. Okay, so um, uh, we had a wedding. It was December, but it wasn't snowing outside. So it wasn't really pretty. It was kind of that 
like in between um everything is dead but nothing is really white yet <laughs> which yeah. you know i live in michigan um so that's a lot there's like two months out of the year um so anyway so we really did all his getting ready shots inside this giant pole barn that he had and i was done with them and i was thinking well, you know what can we do with the guys that isn't just walking outside in the dead grass um and i noticed the the table and i said do you guys play and he's like oh yeah that's one of our favorite things to do so i'm like well now this is great because it's cool but it also tells the story of your friendship you know you always kind of want to include something that is going to matter to your client so yeah um so i just had this idea i loved you know we had them all empty their pockets put the money on the table you know we let, we let them pick their hands so they all got to hold you know the hand that they wanted and of course they're all going to hold the best hand yeah. um it, you know, it took a minute to do, but you know, what, what I like to do. So here's a, here's a little, little trick for me. Um, I'm four foot 11. I'm a woman. I come in, there's a group of guys, they're ready to party. They're ready. You know, they've been drinking. They don't necessarily want to sit still for a photo. So I like to very early on in the day, do a hero shot, do something that's really badass, And then I show them at the back of my camera. Mm. So right at the beginning of the day, they're mine, you know, they see that they seem I can do, they see why we're doing it, they get hooked. And then for the rest of the day, they're so much easier to work with and they're fun. They listen better because they, they know why we're doing it. Um, so that's just a little, little tip is to like, get the guys on your side early on in the day and the rest of the day is gonna be a lot of fun for everybody. Um, yeah, so for this image, I had um, two uh, Godox 8200s that were up and I did like a cross pattern because I didn't want any shadows on him. I wanted him to really stand out um, for the photo. So I purposely didn't sidelight him or do anything like that. I wanted the X pattern to make him be the center. And then I used a blue uh, gel behind him. Now, some of the pictures you'll see it pointing at the wall, but at the wall, at the, that brown, yeah, that brown absorbed it. It wasn't giving me anything. So I turned it around. I took uh, the sphere off and just used the blue gel. And nice. then I posed them. I had my assistant doing the atmosphere aerosol. And then I just talked to them, do this, lean in, go, shoot, don't do that. You know, they will listen to you if you just kind of take control over it. And then, like I said, in the end, show them the back of the camera, show them what you got out of camera, make them, you know, feel badass, make them feel cool and get them on your side. And the rest of the day is awesome. That's, that's such a great tip because you're, and you're absolutely right. It makes such a difference when you can show them because oh, yeah. I mean, literally, this is what if you guys look at this, it's in a garage, right? And they look and they got a boat and they got stools. And I mean, they're looking at this going, what kind of magic is she creating in here? Like, this is insanity. And, and this yet, is our typical Michigan weddings. This yeah. is how this is how they do. So that's yeah, so cool. And I and I love I love the face of the guys too. You got you got the one guy over on the side here on, on his on the subject's right hand side. And he looks so like, He's very great. snarky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's, he was great. And the other, I mean, honestly, if you could like have heard it, there was a lot of laughing going on. It's me being like, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't yeah. laugh. Be serious because we do have fun, you know, we, awesome. we want to keep it, we want to keep it enjoyable. That's awesome. Here's actually, here's a, a quick video where you basically, you kind of told them like one, two, three, go, you know, in order to capture that moment, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yep. That's fantastic. And, you know, and I think, again, when it comes to getting the, um, you know, your clients to trust you, the more that you can get right in camera, you know, and of course, we know there's things that have to be done in Photoshop, but the more you can get right in camera and show it to them, the more they understand why they hired you, why they're paying those prices. It's not you with a camera and, oh, the computer does the work. It's me yeah. and the camera and my brain does the work. And again, yeah. I think that will really set you apart in your field if they know that you can get it right on the day of. Yeah, you know, I, I find too, Amber, is it, that's the best marketing tool that any wedding photographer can use is when you have a bridal party together and you can create a really cool photo and then show it to them in the back of the camera. Oh, yeah. Not only did you just sell every single single person there, but if they have a good friend who is single, granted, they're going to get a text message or something saying, hey, I just found a photographer for your wedding and it turns into business. So, oh, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, love that. So, um, Amber, you know, it's funny, I, uh, I've been seeing some comments rolling in and I haven't been able to stay on top of all of them. Um, but, but rest assured, guys, if, if you're watching this, in fact, I, I even love seeing where you guys are all watching from. So feel free to, to tag us at one person safe from Tucson. Um, but if you are watching this, uh, both myself and Amber will go through some of these comments later. 
and actually check them out. Um, so yeah. we appreciate when you guys are commenting. I know Jonathan, he's actually from Michigan. He says he wants to work for you sometime. Um, and I'm Jonathan's hiring right now, so. Oh, right on, right on. <laughs> so Jonathan, get in touch. Um, I see uh, uh, Pit Petersburg's, uh, somebody is asking where in Michigan are you based out of? Um, I am in Saginaw. So um, let me do like the, um, the, the Michigan thing. <laughs> I'm like here, so I'm okay. in Mid Michigan, uh, Saginaw by uh, Bay City Midland, right in the middle, which kind of works out though because I travel all over the state and I'm always centered. Um, oh. So when I travel, it's it's right from the middle, so that kind of helps. Nice, nice. Um, and then let me just see if there's any other quickly comments here. I just want to make sure that we don't miss anything. Uh, okay. Cool. It looks like uh, so Ricardo was asking about the. He's going back about the gel photo. He was curious. On the colors, when you put the main light on on your son or on Bree, um, mm -hmm. he was surprised it didn't kill the colors. And actually, I, I think, and, and maybe you can add to this, Amber, but I believe if you put the main light on them, the colors it's going to fill in the shadow area. So yeah. if, if that main light was straight on and there was no shadows, then you're right, it would kill all the color. But when you put that light on the subject and then it's creating those shadows, then that's where that color is filling in. It's filling in those colors or the shadows. Is that kind yeah, of how you? Experience? Absolutely. And, um, you know, it also depends on where you put them. So when they're, I think mine were staggered and I, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to say maybe a foot or two foot apart, mm -hmm. then you're creating, you know, a different shadow from each of those lights. They all, it's like, they're, they're all their own sun. They all have their own shadows and they're all going to shadow in the color that you gelled them. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I saw somebody had mentioned they were watching from uh, uh, South Africa, it looked like, which is fantastic. So again, we, we appreciate you guys all tuning in and, and like I said, I, I couldn't be more happy to do this and get it started again with Amber because she has such great uh, BTS photos and videos. So um, Amber, with that, let's uh, let's jump into the next shot here, uh, which was one that you just posted, I believe last week, if I'm not mistaken, in the Magma community. And uh, people were loving this. And this this is another one of those really cool groom shots. Um, and, and, and in fact, we have one more at the very end here that we'll share with everybody. But I've, I've seen this done before where people will, you know, spotlight the groom. I just think what you did here was a little bit unique and different. Um, and, and I think that's why everybody loved it so much. And again, we'll show a BTS, but show everyone or tell everyone how you set this up. What was on your mind? Yeah, so this uh, this is Anthony. Anthony, Heather, they just got married. Love them. Great couple. So excited to do their wedding. Um, Anthony um, is literally double my my height <laughs> uh, there's a picture of him in the morning on his knees and we're about the same height so Anthony is a big guy he is super sweet uh just absolutely awesome but he you know he's a hunter he's military his his you know his heritage is his military family and he wanted to incorporate um you know his his hobby and his guns in the photo um, so what we did for this one is we waited until not quite dark but about you know twilighty kind of kind of time and we went across to um across from where they got married to just this empty field so there's trees behind us but they are way far away which i knew you know would be blacked out which is what i wanted um with this image and we did other ones we did ones of him and the guys that were lit so we did you know our nice where you could see everybody's faces and those ones um but here i pulled him way up um i don't know 10 12 feet maybe more away from the guys um i used a meg grid on him because i wanted just the, um, you know, the focus to be on him. I side lit it on purpose because I wanted the shadows to fall to look cool. And I purposely chose the side of his face that didn't have the gun because uh, mainly I wanted it to be about him and I didn't want the shadows from the gun to be falling on his body. So I mm -hmm. threw the shadows on the other side. Um, for this one, since we already taken the pictures of, of all the guys in the light, I wanted the idea of his, his best friends, his men, uh, were, were behind him, you know, also it's his wedding day. So it just totally makes sense uh, behind him, but I didn't want to highlight, you know, them and the guns. I wanted it to just, you knew that they were there. Mm -hmm. Um, you knew that though, that they were, that they were there, but it wasn't necessarily about them. It was about him, you know, at this point in time. Yeah. Um, we used two, you know, gelled lights behind the guys, a couple of feet behind the guys. I believe we used the spheres. I'm not 100% sure on that. And a ton of aerosol. I think we went through two cans trying to get this shot. Um, but yeah, if you watch the video, you'll see that I have my, my second shooter, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. And uh, my assistant that day, and they are just running, 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 spraying crazy. Um, 
and it turned out and this is this is out of camera this is what it looked like that's phenomenal yeah and, and we'll share the video here in just a second i will say um with that atmosphere aerosol the one thing about it when you're doing it outside it dissipates so fast mm. that it's oftentimes harder to, to to get that you have to really spray a lot of it um, if you're doing it indoors where there's no wind at all, then, then obviously as long as the air conditioning stuff is turned off, it, it lasts a little bit longer. So just a, a little uh, tip for everybody to keep in mind. Um, but man, it worked so well in this photograph. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and show the video. I, I got to say the choice of music is like spot on. <laughs> so, all right, here's the video guys. That's awesome. Music I, oh, let me go back to this. Time. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Amber. Time to, uh, to choose that music because I really wanted something that just made total sense. So like when you're doing, um, when you're using, like I use Animoto in my slideshows for my clients or when I'm doing the TikTok videos, music choice is super important because it's storytelling. It has to make sense. Absolutely. Absolutely. And guys, again, if you're enjoying these little BTS videos, be sure to go check out Amber on TikTok, Amber underscore Henry underscore photography, um, where you can see more of her videos there and, and in this BTS. Um, so definitely go check that out. So um, phenomenal. Love it. So Amber, just like I said, there were so many incredible images and, and I, we could probably do three of these or four of these with you, Amber, just based off the images you sent me. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get you back on here because I, I can just tell people are loving this. Oh, I'd love it. That'd be great. Um, but I want to show just one last image here. And this is, this is one that is essentially taking that same technique that you just shared, but in a different environment. So tell us about this one. Yeah. So this is, um, this is another one of our favorite couples. I think this was two years ago, maybe now. Um, this is Joe and he, uh, they, they chose the casino, which is a great spot, you know, uh, for getting ready. So it wasn't like your typical church basement or any of that stuff. It was a great shot. I love the windows. I knew I wanted to use them. We did another shot where all the guys were in the windows, including him with the, the, um, shadows, but I did feel, of course, you know, he needs to be special. It's his wedding day. So, um, yeah, we just, we pulled him, um, up front. He's again, probably about 10 feet away from the guys, you know? and I was using a tabletop. So we just cleared off the coffee table and I, you know, my camera lens is about even with the coffee table. Um, and then we just tried to get the guys in each of their own, you know, window settings doing something, you know, interacting yeah. with one another. Um, uh, yeah, and then we have a, I believe a grid uh, pretty far away from him on the right side because I wanted the shadows. It looks very dapper, like this was a very, a very clean cut, a very nice, a beautiful traditional type of wedding. So I didn't want to do anything crazy with him. I wanted it to be very um, classic, timeless, mm -hmm. um, you know, something that I knew that he would, he would appreciate. And, um, you know, and a side note, sadly, um, one of the gentlemen in the photos uh, passed away and he passed away before um, they even got to see the photos. Um, so, just, you know, going back to the forethought of, of storytelling in your images, um, one of my things that I, that I stress is to shoot everybody as if, you know, there is no tomorrow because none of us are, you know, guaranteed having tomorrow. And so have that love for your clients when you're creating an image, when you're storytelling, knowing that, you know, this image is going to matter. It's going to show who they are, but it also, you know, maybe the last professional image that they have of themselves and their loved ones have. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get to get sad right there, but when I see that image, like it just, you know, it gets me that um, it was it was a beautiful image, and of course we have we have plenty more with him in there, and and it was it was a really beautiful day, but um, it, you know your work matters, you know, take take pride in your craft and take take pride in the way that you um, you photograph your clients, you know, and just love them a little bit more because uh, you know we we we're all you know we're not guaranteed. I, I really appreciate you sharing that because it is important. I think that's one of the most important things about being a photographer is you're literally creating something that people can be proud of, that even when they pass on, that they've left behind so that their family can remember them. I, I think of the movie Coco, you know, <laughs> and like uh, they have the, the, the photos and it's kind of like, the, you, you know, they remember their family. That. <laughs> we yeah. just watched it the other day. I always cry too when they, when they show the, the photographs. They're so precious. Yeah. They are. I, you know, one time I was shooting a wedding where the mom, um, basically they she had days weeks 
uh, they didn't they didn't think she would be around too much longer. Um, and I, I it, that was on my mind the entire time. And I actually I brought a printer um, to the wedding. And after I was shooting during the reception, I edited some photos and I printed out about 20 or 30 photos just because I knew that a printed photo means a lot to her. Right. And so I printed these photos and I delivered them to her just so that she could have some of those printed photos, you know, of her daughter's wedding right there on the spot. Um, oh, but, awesome. but yeah, I, I think it's so important to, you know, I love how you said that capture everybody. So as if they were not going to be here tomorrow, Absolutely. like give them that respect and, and honor. So fantastic. Amber, I think that's actually a great, um, a great lesson to end on right there. Um, yeah. Amber, your work is phenomenal. And I just can't thank you enough for everything you're doing and, and for the industry, um, you know, and the way you're sharing. Um, if you guys haven't had enough yet of Amber, I will, in fact, let me just show really quickly. We have, um, which I know they haven't because you're amazing. I'm going to show them really quickly, Amber. If you go to MagMod, uh, the MagMod YouTube channel, and just search Amber. In fact, if you just go to YouTube and just search MagMod Amber Henry, you'll bring up a talk that Amber gave in um, uh, in WPPI. And at that talk, uh, she shared quite a few more images and some more techniques and things. So definitely go search that. Uh, I can throw it in the comments as well afterwards so everybody can find it really easily. Um, but Amber, tell everyone one more time, you're based out of Sagan, Saginaw, 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 <laughs> Saginaw, it's Indian. Saginaw, Saginaw, Michigan. Um, yep. And I do travel. In fact, um, I will be, uh, teaching for ClipCon, um, mm -hmm. online in December and then in person in January with a very limited amount of people. And then, um, I believe next August at ClipCon, it was supposed to be this year. And of course, you know, things happened, but. Um, I will be in person teaching using magma gear, show you how easy it is, show you how quick it is, make your life easier. <laughs> you know, don't stress over the equipment, you know, find the equipment that you like, learn it, use it, get yourself some magma, it's super quick. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be all over and I really, you know, I love teaching, I love sharing, I love the little light bulbs that pop uh, when you learn something new. So, and that's why I love the Magmod community because the Magmod community is, it's incredible the amount of talent, um, especially like the Magmod ambassador team. Um, I'm just, I'm blown away. It's every day there's something beautiful and new to learn. I, it it truly is. It, it blows my mind too. And I, I'm grateful that I get an opportunity to be in there every day and just kind of see what's happening. But, um, but yeah, it, it does. It blows my mind as well. It, it makes me feel uh, unworthy to even post, <laughs> which I'm sure other people feel that way. But the thing is, but the thing is, we have to remember that we all we all are going to feel that way. All of us are going to feel like, man, I'm just not worthy of the amount of talent. But then you share something, and people are just so grateful uh, that you're able to share. And actually, uh, we're all growing. So, absolutely. Uh, like I would, I would even say, you know, some of the images that you chose today are images that I was hesitant to post because I didn't know if anybody would care. Mm -hmm. You know, and I feel like we all have that feeling, but you know, you'll, you'll never get anywhere unless you put yourself out there, show what you're doing, you know, learn a little bit. Don't be afraid to ask questions, you know, especially the Magmod ambassadors. Like we love to educate. We love when people get excited about it. Um, so yeah, let the fear go. You're never going to get anywhere unless, unless you, um, you know, push yourself out of your comfort zone. I love that. That's perfect. Amber, you're amazing. Um, again, I can't thank you enough. And, and thanks for joining me here on this, how I shot it. Yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Guys, if, if this is the first time you're tuning in, uh, definitely go on YouTube. You can actually search again, Mag Magnet Mod. You can subscribe to the channel. We post these, How I Shot It's There. Uh, we look forward. We want to do these each week. So as long as uh, everything allows us to, uh, we're going to keep bringing more incredible photographers like Amber on here to, to do more of these How I Shot It's so that we can actually share some of their incredible photos and just talk through them so you can kind of learn some of these techniques. Again, if you have any questions and you're catching this a little bit later, well, once we finish this, uh, Facebook should allow you to rewind it and watch it from the beginning. Um, and then, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments. And uh, Amber, if you don't mind, maybe just checking out those comments sometime today. Uh, and, yes, and yeah, I will try to go through and I'll try to answer as many questions yeah. um, as I can. We've got a couple uh, shoots today. Yay. Um, yeah. And we have a busy weekend ahead. But yeah, I would love to answer questions and, you know, don't hesitate to reach out to me um also if i can if i can help yeah so again i just want to tell everyone one more time they can find you on amber henry photography uh that's your website your instagram and then of course tiktok is amber underscore henry underscore photography yep 
yep, come follow me. Um, I'm, I'm really trying to share more behind the scenes, um, if anything else, because even clients, even people who aren't photographers, love to see it. It's just so much fun. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I need, I need to step back more when I'm out shooting. I, it's funny, I shoot, I shoot, shoot, I get excited, I show the clients, and then I walk away and I'm like, oh man, I forgot to do a BTS. I forgot to get like oh. a piano. All the time. And it, it, like, I just, another shout out to um, my second shooter, my assistant, Jenny. Um, she really goes, yeah, she will remind me if I didn't get behind the scenes. A lot of what you've seen is footage that she's taken for me. Um, her mm -hmm. or my fiance, Chuck, will, will do that. So like, even just having your assistant just be like, hey, today, behind the scenes, you see something cool, take a, take a quick picture of it. Um, yeah, having a good team is, is oh, so much. It's so much. That, that's a great that's a great reminder to end on as well is that you know telling your second shooter or any assistant that's with you you know to make sure you get those behind the scenes shots i love that oh, yeah, so absolutely amber you're amazing thank you so much for joining me thanks, for thanks everyone me. for tuning in yeah and uh we just i appreciate your time amber yeah thank you thank you so much i love it awesome thanks everyone you guys all have a fantastic day in fact uh i guess today's thursday right so we're going into the weekend and you guys have a wonderful weekend and uh, have fun shooting. Emery, I wish you much success on your shoots today and this weekend, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye, everyone.